Hi guys and welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you all the ways how to adjust clip volume in DaVinci Resolve. As you can see I'm in a new DaVinci Resolve 17 project and I have some files. I have a video and two audio tracks. I have disabled the video track and muted the first audio track because I won't be using them. I will be working with audio track number two. In the audio track number two I have added mp3 file which I have taken from Artlist. Let me just show you sequence of it. And I have divided this audio clip in smaller clips just for the purpose of this tutorial. So first of all we cannot see the audio waveforms because the height of the track is very small. To make it bigger you go here and when the cursor changes just click and drag it down and make the height as much as you want or if you want to adjust the height of multiple tracks at once you click this button timeline view options and where it says audio just drag the slider to the right but for me the first option will be better because I will be working just with this audio clip I will make it this high you can zoom a little bit if you want now the first way to adjust clip volume is very easy if you can see this very thin line here just hover over it and when the cursor changes click and drag it up or down whether you want to increase or decrease the volume I will decrease it to see the effect and now if I play it you can notice that the volume now is lower on this clip to be sure that the one clip has its volume changed you can tell it from the color of the clip this has slightly darker green color and now the second method to adjust the clip volume is if we go to the inspector if it's not open just click it here and select the clip and it is done from this volume slider over here if you move it to the left or to the right the volume will increase and decrease accordingly now let me reset it to reset all the changes just hit here or here another method to change the clip volume is if we go to the clip menu here audio and as you can see you have four options here you can increase it or decrease it in one unit or increase it and decrease it up to three dbs each time to apply this action you click on this menu or you alternatively you can use the shortcuts if i click here let me decrease it now if I hit alt shift and minus we have applied a minus 3 dB volume adjustment two times so as you can see here the volume is now minus 6 dBs. You can also add keyframes to an audio clip if you move your timeline to your desired position and then if you go here in the volume hit this diamond key now if I move it forward and select the clip and hit the diamond key one more time. We have added two keyframes. If I select this and move it down, you can see that the volume gradually goes down. And now if we play it again, see the difference. Let me reset this again. Another way to add keyframes is from the clip itself. Hit the ALT key and hold it and go over the thin white horizontal line and click. I've added four keyframes just to show you one effect you can achieve in this way. So if I bring this down and also this down to about the same amount and if I play it You saw that the volume here was normal, then it went down, then again here it went to normal. So in this way you can achieve the audio ducking effect. Okay, let me reset this again. Another method to adjust the volume is if we go to the mixer and we have the inspector open. This method only works if we apply the changes to the whole track. Since we are working with the audio track 2, to select the whole track you click here. Now if I go here in audio 2 and decrease the volume by moving the slider down to about minus 10 or 15. If I select the clip you will not see the change but if I click here and select the whole audio track and I check here you can see that the 
volume has been decreased and this effect has been applied to this whole audio track. There you have it guys, these are all the ways you can adjust clip volume in the edit tab. I hope this was useful to you. If you want to watch more DaVinci Resolve tutorials check the card above. If you have any questions leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. And with you guys see you in the next DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Thank you for watching and bye.